My name is Joanna. My name is Zhang Chongyue. My name is Shaq. My name is Abhishek Malakar. My name is Bo Tai. My name is Bo Tai. For a lot of Chinese students, we have our own English name since we were like very little, because we have English classes when we were kind of in kindergarten. I remember back in class, our English teacher said, "Oh, you guys need an English name." The teacher literally was like, "You, Cindy, you, Peter, you, Charles," and then name stick with them for like 20 more years. I'm from Seoul, South Korea, and my original name is Min Sung Kim, but now in the U.S. I go by Jeff. When you grow up in a completely different culture zone and moving to another culture zone, it's it's all about adjusting your life culturally, socially, even language. So basically everything. Personally, I felt like I had to change, not change, but adjust my character into the new environment. And that first step was to change my name. So my full Indian name is Aditya Pal, but the name which I have adopted as an English name is Addy. People say that when you move to a new city, you can reinvent yourself, you can get a new personality, new name. But to me, I have always been Aditya. The name is just for other people, so that I don't feel like I'm causing a burden for them to pronounce my real name. When I'm trying to introduce myself or tell my name, first I have to explain as to people as to how to pronounce my name, which becomes slightly difficult and redundant. Come on, if I'm making a friend or making a new friend or something, they should be able to be comfortable calling out my name. And the most comfortable method for that is give them a nickname that's easy for them, right? Some of us pick our English name. Uh, for fun, like me, <laughs>、uh, I just pick up a, a dictionary and just like, oh, Stan, Stanley. That's、uh, I remember that's the name for a,、uh, a wooden floor manufacturer. So I just okay, Stan, that's my name. Stan, Stan. <laughs> Some students just choose to name after their characters in a TV drama. For example, I have a friend who named himself Lancelot. I know a friend of mine who doesn't have an English name when he came to high school, and somehow he chose his name to be Google, and that is his. That is what we call him for the rest of four years. Yeah, his name is Google. Actually, it was Google's birthday two weeks ago, and、uh, one of his friends' name is Moses. When you like a、uh, 15 years old, choose your name. It's like choosing a gaming, like a gaming identification. People throwing all kinds of stuff in there. My Chinese name is Wu Yuan Yuan, and my first English name actually is given by my teacher in primary school, and it's Angel. And then I got to choose my own name in high school, and I choose Amanda. It represents brave. How brave, how confident a woman can be. I feel like this name can show like how I seize the power to control my life. When I came to the U.S., I thought people couldn't pronounce my original name, which is Bowtie. Then I think that sophomore year in high school, I realized like the thing people wear is actually called Bowtie. So now, like when I introduce myself, my hand just suddenly do this thing over here, and people immediately was like, "Oh, Bowtie!" I'm really thankful for whoever came up with that word. It solved me a tons of time explaining my name to other people. My name is Joanna, but my Chinese name is Chongyue Zhang. I can really feel my identity when I was. Introducing myself to others using my Chinese name, and for my English name, I think Joanna is a pretty name, but I feel like less proud when I'm introducing myself using my English name. If someone reach out to me and then is interested in Chinese tradition or is interested in my Chinese name, I would love to teach them how to pronounce and then what meaning it is. I really appreciate it actually when a lot of the. People, a lot of my international colleagues who are very close to me. They know my real name as well, and they call me by my real name. And for them, Adi Aditya is the same thing. Eventually, I think one thing maybe people should try to do more is showing the willingness you actually wanna try to pronounce your real name. Because most time we just assume like, oh, it's such a such a difficulty. If you show a little bit effort, people realize, oh, they actually wanna try to pronounce our real name, and、uh, it's definitely very appreciated. Nice to meet you. 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 Nice to meet you.